Hello everyone, Josh vs. back again, bring you guys some more Princess Connect, and today I'm giving you a little update of my progress, free to play here on the soft launch of Princess Connect, of course. Now we did our reroll guide video, um, we're going to be doing some more guides here coming soon, you know, a beginner guide video, just some quick tips to get into the game and get you off to the races so you can progress as fast and as efficient as you possibly can. And we're also going to do what units that you should possibly be rolling for. There are two that come to mind that are kind of like universally recognized amongst the community between the Chinese version of the game, the Japanese version of the game, and of course the soft launch, which will eventually be the global version of the game in a couple months or so. So with all that said, let me show you guys how far I've come here in the past couple days. I am currently sitting at player level 37. Now I still have the rest of the day to farm, but I'm going to take my time because this game definitely feels like you can be a bit more casual if you'd like, or you can be a bit more uh, going into a grind fest. It's kind of really up to you and how your play style is, so I do appreciate that. Um, and so far, I've been enjoying the game a lot since I did my uh, actual review of the game. I gave it a 7.5 out of 10, which I feel is like a fair grade. Um... Now, let's go into and look at my characters. Now, I currently have five characters that are already rank five. So, I've been grinding out their gear. Now, the way this game story works is you really are not just going to be speed blitzing through it unless you, of course, wail out hard and start starting your characters up with amulets or, or any other means that you might be doing to try and burst through story. Otherwise, if you're a casual spender or free-to-play like myself, you're going to be doing a lot of stop, go, stop, go, stop, go in story. You're going to go a few stages maybe even one whole chapter then you're going to go back and farm that chapter over and over again to get you know individual gear pieces and fragments so you can craft gear so then you can rank your hero up and then rinse and repeat and then you just slowly and gradually get stronger and stronger and then you can move on to the harder difficulty stages of story both on normal and hard mode and then it'll also help you of course get access to other resources that you can feed into your characters that, that way you can build up more teams so you can go through dungeons more efficiently and all that other good stuff in the game. So, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I've already got my five main units at rank five. I've even worked on a couple to rank four already that I plan on using for other content such as dungeon or building other teams later down the road. So, our first unit that we have progressed up here is Monica. I really like Monica because she shoots a gun and it just looks awesome. I don't know why. Just like her design, her outfit there that she's wearing. Really, really cool. And then her skill and animations in the game are also really decent. So what she does here, we'll just go over the Union Burst. Because if we go over all their skills, it's going to take a while. So she deals 1,965 physical damage to enemies in range. That's currently where she's at right now at level 37 on her Union Burst skill. Uh, mana cost 47.60, obviously. All right, so let's go to my next unit here. So we have Mikado. This is going to be a unit that you're going to hear talked about a lot in this game because she's a very, very good unit. Now, I'll talk more about her and why she's very favorable amongst the community. And we'll even talk about some of her downsides as well that a lot of people are overlooking in the early stages of the game that I had to find out the hard way. But there's way to play there's ways to play around that and really utilize her early even though she's more of an mid to end game unit we can utilize her in the early stages as well so we're going to talk more about her in other videos and spoiler alert she will be included in that re-roll target video so she is also rank five she's sitting right now at 3053 power and by the way that's not my strongest powered unit i do have one slightly higher and she's been my favorite and my big carry through stages of the story and pvp right now and we'll get to her next so skill here for Wol uh, woven um rend deals physical damage to an enemy directly in front and lowers its physical defense by a moderate amount so she is basically just a catalyst to all the damage for the rest of my team because she's lowering physical defense and my entire team right now is physical damage dealers so I have physical damage dealer buffers and all that other stuff. So it's a very well-oiled and synergetic machine that I'm running right now with my particular team. Deals 5,644 physical damage to an enemy, lowers an enemy's physical defense by 35. So her debuffing and then doing a ton of single target damage is going to make her very useful for, like I said, mid to end game, especially for boss stages, uh, bosses in general, and just hard to beat tanks. All right, so let's move on to the next unit. We got uh, Chica. 
Chica, the reason why I'm running her over Yui, I know a lot of people love Yui, and I like Yui as well. I do like her as a one star. She looks like she's going to have a lot of potential and may, maybe even carry you all the way to the finish line at end game stages of this game going forward. But for my particular team build, since I am running all physical damage dealers, Chica was just a perfect unit to run with my team, and I got lucky to pull her along other units. She's sitting at 2619 power right now. Uh, her Sylvan Blessing recovers HP of all allies in front of her by a moderate amount and summons a fairy beside the foremost ally. Uh, recovers HP of all allies in range by 537, summons a spirit. Of course, that is, again, at level 37. But her uh, other skills are what really, really helps her with my team, gives them those buffs. But again, we're going to talk about skills and stuff like that in another video down the road. All right, here's our girl, Rhino. Rhino or Reno, however you want to say her name, I, I call it Rhino because that's just what I would, that's just the name that just kind of jumps out to me, it's just Rhino, plus she's a beast, so Rhino just sounds cool, so hopefully that's her name, if it's Reno or Reno, I'm sorry, but Rhino just sounds cool, so I'm just going to stick with it, but anyway, so she's at 3,247 power for me right now, she is my powerhouse, she is what's carrying me through a lot of stages of story, and of course pvp because she does aoe physical damage you can see right here deals moderate physical damage to all enemies in range deals 2764 physical damage to enemies in range so very very good and again she has other skill sets that make her really really strong including increasing her own crit rate so she does a lot of critting on top of that high damage output so very good for cleaving story and cleaving pvp all right moving on we have Miyako. Miyako is going to be another spoiler alert. She will be a part of that re-roll uh, target video. What makes her so good is she is a self-efficient tank. She self-efficient. I'm um, sorry. <laughs> She's so self-efficient. There we go. She actually has not one, but two self-heals uh, amongst her skills in her union burst, which is phenomenal. She also does a little bit of damage herself as well. So she's a really good frontline slot one tank. Uh, her, your pudding now, a lot of people will refer to her as pudding. If you hear people in the community mention, hey, go summon for pudding or use pudding, this is who they are talking about. And she's only a two star hero, too, so she's not hard to obtain, hopefully, for a lot of you out there. And when you get her, my goodness, is she a great unit to build up. Inflicts large physical damage to one enemy directly in front while also healing own HP by a large amount. Keyword, large amount. Deals 3,726 physical damage to an enemy and recovers own HP by 1,016. So, you can see she packs a punch and she's self-efficient. And that's not even including any of her other skill sets. But just that alone makes her a solid tank. And she's a two-star as well. So there you go. And then we have Eriko. Now, she's not... Now, these, this unit isn't in my main team. This is just a unit that I'm building up as well. Because I plan to use her down the road. Um, so she's not quite as built up as some of my other units. You can see she's only a rank four, not a five. And I believe Yui is my next one. So you can see I'm also building her up. So for you Yui fans out there, don't worry. I'm giving her the love and attention that she deserves. She's just coming along gradually and slowly. She's just not a priority at the moment. So we got Eriko there. Um, she's got deadly uh, discipline. Deals massive physical damage to an enemy directly in front. Boost own physical attack. If the enemy is defeated by this skill, deals almost 6,200 physical damage to an enemy, boosts own physical attack by 855 upon defeating enemy. So she is also another one of those big boss killers. Like she could do some massive damage, especially if she's hitting an enemy that already had their defense or their physical defense lowered by Makoto. So whoo, you got some crazy things happening, right? Um and then we have Yui, our final unit that we have that's anywhere close to being built up. So you can see we have seven units kind of as a work in progress. I'd like to get that up to 10 so I can have at least two teams. But I'm still up in the air and on the fence of the other three units I want to build up at this time. So maybe if you guys have some just some ugh, some suggestions, preferably two stars or lower, let me know in the comment section below and we'll see what we can do. So she has a group heal that recovers all allies hp by 448 and of course that's only at level 37 and she's only a rank four 
Um, so she's going to be another one of those solid healers, but her other skill sets are also very, very good. But we're not going to get into those because the video will be too long. So that, that's the units I've been building up, guys. That's the progress I've made. If you're wondering how far I've made it into story, we'll go to story real quick. You can see right here that I am now on chapter 6. So we've made it to chapter 6 story. I've not even tried to do 6-1 yet because I'm still farming up a lot of chapter 5 for gear. On hard mode, I just stopped at 4-1. I might be able to beat chapter 4. I don't know. I just stopped because I felt like it was a good stopping point. And then I went back and started working on gear for my characters to get to, you know, rank 4 and 5. And then hopefully, eventually, we'll get to rank 6. So that's pretty much my progress. You can see my guild house as well. Um, the floor was driving me crazy. So I did spend a little bit of rupees to, you know, to deck out my floor a little bit. But outside of that, we're doing pretty good. I've been leveling up some of my resources. Um, I definitely consider the mana and the um, what is it? The stamina as the the two important things to upgrade out of the four resources that they let you get from the start. Because I feel like the tickets are more of a just you know a time saver, not a necessity. And the exp potions as well. Like I feel like I'm getting so much exp right now passively from just doing these stages with all the stamina that i'm using so yeah i just feel like those two things are more important than the other two at the moment at least that may change in time but for right now those are definitely the most the most important things to me for the guild house at the moment so that's my guild house um i'm not sure if i'm gonna summon anymore I might just start using all those for stamina to just try and keep pushing my player level and getting more gear for my character and my core team. Unfortunately, if you don't summon, it's going to be a lot harder to get amulets, which will give you shards for characters to star them up. But I feel like the awakening is going to be something that I'm going to be working on slowly, long term. So, you know, I'm pretty happy with the team that I have now. There would be, there are some three stars that I would love to pull, but I just don't know if it's worth going hard on this banner because it's just a basic banner. Maybe it's better to just go hard on, you know, stamina and just keep building up the units that I already have. So maybe do a couple, two, three, maybe four multis. Try and build a good, solid, you know, five units out of that, potentially 10 if you add in one and two stars. And then just try to build those units up as best you can as a free-to-play and go forward with that. And my, that might be the best strategy going forward, at least for now. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it for me. Hopefully, you guys are satisfied with my progress as I am. Um, I'd like to know what your guys and gals' thoughts are in the comment section below. How far you've gotten on the game. If you just started now, what units are you using? Are you having fun with the game? Um, you know, any problems that you may have the game, let me know all that and more in a comment section below. I'll try to read as many as I can, reply to as many as possible. And that's going to be it for me, guys. So I got some more uh, Princess Connect videos coming for you guys very, very soon, like a beginner guide, a gear guide, all these other guides. You know how we do it around here. We try to analyze and research as much as we can. There's going to be a quick little reroll target video where we're going to be basically isolating two units and talking about them in depth and why. They're very, very highly touted, and maybe you should consider re-rolling for them. There are also other targets as well, but these are going to be like definitely the most favored that I've gotten so far from doing my research on this game. So, that's it for me, guys. Hope you guys all enjoy. Until next time. Oh, by the way, some of you are probably wondering, if you didn't do the math already, how strong is my team's battle power? We're sitting right now at 14,000. 804 and if i farmed up just a couple more pieces of gear i'd be at 15k easily so just go ahead and throw that there at the end of the video <laughs> almost forgot but anyways i'm gonna get out of here guys have a good one until then don't forget to subscribe check notifications join us in the discord in the description below and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy today's video it helps the channel out a bunch until then peace